Well, <coughs> Branson here has convinced me that in spite of my not feeling that great, that we're gonna go up this hill and we're gonna kill one of those rams that got away yesterday. Last night, uh, Marcus had taken some images of these rams and they were able to look and count rings for sure. One has 10, one has eight, Branson. Mm -hmm. So that means we shoot, right? Right. All right. And here we go. <coughs> Those we'll them up here are about that big. Yeah. yeah. At least that's bigger. what I've seen. Everything's bigger in Alaska, apparently. Yeah. Amazing place. Wild as wild gets. You gonna pack all those out? Huh? You gonna pack all those out? No. <laughs> I probably won't pack very many out this time, especially if we get sheep. Yeah, uh, last time I packed eight out. Gotta be heavy. No trees to hang them in. front of us. He's about a mile ahead of us, up just in the rocks. And from camp, Marcus was glassing them more this way. The downside is that our boundary, where we can hunt, goes for about three quarter of a mile. So we're going to get up here and set up. And last night and earlier this morning they were closer this way so we got to wait them out all day we'll wait them out all day see it happen right, that's what Branson says anyhow he's a man of few words but when he says something he means it Branson said he's tired of mountain house he wants some camp meat so now I'm worried that if there's not enough rings he might tell me to shoot one anyhow just for camp meat but yesterday we got close enough to get pictures and Marcus pulled them up and he can see everyone was counting the rings while I was convalescing in my tent. <coughs> so now we know they shall not escape our clutches next time. Good news is, we can't go much higher and still be in our unit. Bad news is, the sheep might be a little higher and not in our unit. We're just about to the divide here. Unbelievable. Pretty big chunk of ice right there. There's a big glacier right up here. This is where it kind of ends. For every three steps you s climb, you slide back down to where it feels that way. Yeah. I think after this hunt, I'm taking up antelope. No more sheep hunting for you. 
I'll leave that to Marcus. Wrangle St. Elias range is not for the faint of heart. I've had these poles for, I don't know, eight or ten years. And when I was skiing down the scree yesterday morning, this got stuck. And I went past it. My foot got caught on it. Bummer. But at least it wasn't carbon that would have went. Boom. And I'd be this would be my uphill pole and that would be my downhill pole. There's a sheep out there. You know? Off yeah. this ridge. That's the one he was talking about. Oh, that's the lamb? I think so. That lamb cut down to our left here. Oh, look at it. <clears throat> well, that didn't go well, Branson. Nope. We sat up here all day waiting on some sheep right over here that are in an area we can't hunt. Let's see, I know we had 11 come through, yep, which had nine, rams. and there were two little rams, and then we had two other rams come underneath us. But that's not what didn't work out. What didn't work out, <laughs> right down here. The guy came and set up his camp right below us. <laughs> Which I guess speaks to how well the Sitka gear blends in in this gray rock. Yeah. Because he did a full scan of everything before he set up camp. And he didn't see the three of us on this ridge. So. Nope. Alright, we're on plan what now? Plan C. C. D. E. F. J. J. I think you missed a few. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, that's hunting. That's yep. hunting public land. What do you do? You meet new people. <laughs> Branson wants to go down and talk to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> These are social occasions for Branson. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we tried. Yeah. So how many sheds can you stack in the ground? That's the question. Not very many if it's all rocks. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Uh, woo! Gave it a good effort today. We saw some sheep. I don't know where they're at though. I don't know what the plan will be tomorrow, but feeling that great or no hopefully we'll wake up and they'll be right here but thanks for watching folks I'd like to say thanks for watching day whatever but I've lost track of how many days we have going on here uh, day four anyhow thanks for watching <coughs> I'm gonna hit the hay early and uh, wake up, it's clouding up here. I'm afraid it's gonna be raining in the morning, which could complicate our life, so thanks for watching. <laughs>